Uh, good morning, all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner on a Wednesday that is very overcast and damp. <laughs> Not actually raining, but just damp. Um, first of all, um, Dan's been in touch from Police Abusing Powers. There probably won't be a live this week again on a Sunday. Um, it would have been a members live only anyway, being first Sunday of the month. But he's hoping to um, do a live of some sort on April the 14th, which is the following Sunday. Uh, at which point he'll update you on what's happening and what's been happening. Um, I'll leave him that up to him to explain to you. Um, but just to let you know, he is going to come back in a week or so with a live. Um, I will be live tonight from 7. How long for, I don't know, because I'm still very tired. But I will be going live just to see how your uh, Easter weekends went on and just catch up with friends. But now, um, yeah, the uh, Scottish hate bill crime, crime, hate crime bill get that the right fucking way round to start with, um, that I mentioned yesterday. Now, it seems as if it's um, totally backfired on them. <laughs> because as soon as it went live as such, um, people were reporting all sorts of things, all sorts of people um, basically overloaded the system. Um, there was even a load of reports going in about useless Yusef himself, um, about a racist speech, um, that they've actually stopped taking calls on that now and reports. They're just issuing a cry number and saying they're not investigating it. <coughs> but the big one that everybody was looking to see what was going to happen was um, the J.K. Rowling debacle and her chirp tweet or whatever it was uh, over the trans issues <laughs> but surprise police scotland after people were inquiring about this and many complaining as well both sides of the fence on that one um said that there was nothing illegal in it and they wouldn't in be investigating it as a hate crime which is strange considering all the hype that there's been around it. Now, I think this is because it would have involved a high profile investigation and a highly publicised case, shall I say. Yeah, you know, we all know how the uh, police have, from everywhere in the UK, like to work in the shadows. They don't like to be scrutinised. They don't like to be watched. <coughs> Unless they want it to happen, of course. We've seen this with the uh, propaganda films. They make it protest with these arrests involving actors in some cases. And that has been proved. <laughs> but what hasn't been widely put out is the fact that a lot of the police are against this bill up there in Scotland and some are even flatly refusing to enforce it. Now down here even Rowland stood up and spoke out against it and said how ridiculous it was. Well as far as I'm concerned Rowland you need to wind your fucking neck in because with the censorship laws and everything that you've put in place you still want to bleep, bleach, bleat on about um, free speech we haven't had freedom of free speech or expression for a long time because of you and those before you but we, we've we seen this um, on social media channels and platforms uh, YouTube especially I notice because it's the one I'm usually on channels that get taken down or restricted like um, Simon Sideways, the Reverend Simon Sideways, his main channel, the Reverend Simon Sideways, 
um, has been restricted and is now banned from doing live streams. This happened a little while back, but um, it's all been backwards and forwards, and they're still not giving any reason for this. Now, this has got to come from higher up. This isn't just YouTube, I don't think. Now, I can remember, I'm, I'm going back over a year or two now, I think it is, doing a, a video and talking about how YouTube punishes channels. Um, it was after they published the new guidelines and rules, not the last lot, the lot before that they were in, where they said that if they take a channel down for any reason they will also take down any channels that are connected to that channel not channels that watch it but any um, what backup channels if you've got two or three channels they can actually pull those down as well also they can restrict many things you can get thrown off youtube but also in those rules it did state i remember reading it somewhere that they can even restrict what you do on google as a punishment or just remove you from google altogether because don't forget that google own youtube <coughs> now if the government are forcing them to do this then we're in the 1984 scenario where the government has absolute full control of what you see and hear along with everything else think about that one right that's all i'm gonna talk about. i've got some more notes up there about the plans that aren't in place to defend our country <laughs> defend it we fucking helped an invasion haven't we but that's for another time but guys don't forget tonight from seven o'clock i don't know how long i'll go on for uh, initially i always say 10 o'clock but if i feel a bit tired before that then yeah I'd, i'll drop down but i will be live from seven so come and tell us how your weekend went or just come and catch up have a chat i dare say there'll be some topics there that uh people will want to talk about but as always it's zero tolerance clean and respectful in the chat please um, i like to keep it that way no dramas but until then people as always stay safe stay strong and stay as free as you can respects people <laughs>